What up, YouTube? Go farm back with another video on this beautiful day, y'all. We're in the shed because it's raining, but I'm still gonna plant watermelons. I'm gonna plant uh, peppers out. I'm gonna do a lot of planting. I don't care about the rain. I got to set up. Don't worry about the camera. Y'all coming along. And that is my setup for today. I got my tripod underneath. I got an umbrella zip tied to an um, old tripod. Y'all coming along. Don't worry about the rain, baby. I got you. You ain't getting wet at all. All right. Got my uh, cayenne pepper. I didn't have any seeds, so I had to spend the money, y'all. I ain't have no choice. So I'm considering cayenne pepper to be herb, so I'm gonna plant it in my herb bed or well, my herb garden. I started to clip the tops. I experimented with uh, clipping the top on some of the ones I got in the house. But the cayenne, I'm just gonna let them live their best life, baby. I ain't gonna miss with them. I'm gonna plant Georgia rattlesnake, garden leader monster, and royal golden watermelon. And I'm gonna give it this whole bed just for watermelon. Give it room to run and do its thing. I never fall. You are my sunshine on a rainy day. You are the one who takes All right, in this bed, they got all these onions. They say I can't grow down here. Uh, long day onions and garlic to the left. Long day onions to the right. In that bed, I'm going to put uh, all my squash, Kush out squash, these seeds I got left over from last year. Delicata squash, honey nut squash, and I got my labels, y'all. It's on like popcorn. I'm telling y'all, this year I am not playing. Broke farmer for the win. All year long, broke farmer for the win. I don't want to see nothing but big W's in the chat. Delicata going to go here. Running that here and push out here. It's just the first round, baby. I want to really to get going today because I don't have to water when I do it like this. And I like all the cheap codes I can get when it comes to gardening. So that is why I'm planning there if y'all didn't know. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go by a quarter inch depth. And I don't I don't trellis these, I let them grow along the ground. All my squashes. I don't like tying them up and all that other stuff. I like lazy garden. If y'all didn't know, I'm a lazy gardener. But I do it well. Alright, two seeds in each one. I don't wanna overdo it. Quarter inch depth. Oh, we got a renegade seed, we just gonna plant it there, it'll be alright. Pour it in dip, dip, cover it up. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next one is honey, honey, nut and honey, honey nut squash. Chris y'all, I got to see you somewhere, y'all. Y'all be patient. Honey nut squash, I've never grown this before. And if y'all wonder why I'm throwing paper, well, uh, paper is organic matter. So I just dump it in the yard. Alright, let's get it. If you ain't sowing seeds, baby, on the inside, in the arrow garden, or in the ground, what are you doing? This is the time of year. You don't know where you're at. You know what I mean. You're somewhere cold, throw it on the inside. I ain't no excuses. I did grow this kush all last year. I kept it for about, four, one of them about four months before we cooked it. And all of them were delicious. 
delicious. Delicious with two E's in it. Do you hear me? Delicious with two E's. These are the Kushaw, original Kushaw seeds I got. Um, I saved a bunch of them from last year. So I'm not worried about it. So we, we Kushaw rich right now, y'all. To be honest with you. Got them all in. That's the squash bed. Y'all were here with me for it. Yay! We're just playing a lot of cucumbers along here. And I just want to make these trellis wider where there's more room for the cucumbers to come up. So I'm going to use some twine, Dollar Tree. One dollar, probably dollar twenty-five now. Lord knows how much it is now. Train for love, yeah. Don't look that pretty or beautiful or whatever. I just needed to hold some vines up, baby. That's all they gotta do. Don't judge me. Judge your garden. I'm gonna plant the uh, dragon egg cucumber, the bait alpha, and the Richmond green apple cucumber. Come along. All right, I made a label. I'm just gonna put it on the uh, trellis. Richmond gonna be on the left, dragon egg in the middle, bait alpha on the right. All right, I'm back, y'all. It was raining too hard yesterday. I had to stop. So, I, look at the roller polar guy. Lee, he's trying to get the seed before I even put it in there. Get out of the way. So, these are my uh, Richmond cucumbers. First time growing it. Just going to put it in to that first, whatever that is, right there. On your finger, close up. I ain't watering nothing because it's supposed to rain. Boy, it's already drizzling now. Gonna stick these out here, y'all. Hope for the best. Two of them. I'm not familiar with these seeds. I got these over here. These are my dragon egg cucumbers. Delicious cucumber, delicious. Putting them in now. Dragon egg. My bait alpha on this trellis. Bootleg trellis. But it's gonna work. Nice trellis over there. That's what we doing. Bait alpha shot side the uh stays their hands in the dirt. We're gonna see what they do. And I know somebody saying, move all the weeds out the way. Man, I ain't worried about these weeds. If these plants can't beat these weeds for nutrients, I don't need it out here. Alright, them all my cucumbers lined up on my trellis. Let's move on. Yeah, we about to plant that, baby. We about to plant that, baby. That's going to be a monster. Ooh. All right, next is borage. And I know somebody, somebody's saying right now, bro, what if you get another frost? Man, if if was a fifth, we'll all be drunk. I don't worry about if. I worry about what's going to happen. You know what I mean? You can sit home waiting for the perfect time to plant. It ain't never going to show up, baby. Put your seeds in the grind and hope for the best. You know what I mean? And this is in my uh, herb bed. I'm planting a lot of seeds in here. I just need y'all to come through. We plant everything today. No whammies. Let's get this spaghetti squash in here, baby. No rhyme, no reason. Just plant all day. Big seed, big seed, big seed. Big seed, big seed. Uh oh, too much, too much, too much. My bad, y'all. Too much, too much. Two seeds, close to each other, but not quite in the same hole. First, little knuckle deep, whatever that's called. Ideally, I want two plants, but I'm gonna plant enough for three. This is my whole squash bed, y'all. I got my onions guarding against the vine board. My garlic over there protecting against the vine board. And I'm gonna have a little block here with my cucumbers. Yeah, y'all, I thought this one not this year. 
Go get him, bro. Go get him, bro. You the man. Up next, the heavy. I cut that off. Heavy hitter okra. Never grew this okra variety before. But if it's anything like people say, we're gonna be off to the race. I don't think I'm gonna need many trees. I'm gonna plant four, six. I'm gonna get six in the grind, baby. And this direct sowing, baby. This okra gonna show up and show out. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. And y'all still looking at them little weeds. Worry about them little weeds. Focus on the okra. Focus on the okra. That's all I'm focused on. I don't care nothing about these weeds. Nothing about these weeds. If this okra can't defeat these weeds, look, two more seeds try to run off. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Little ant, you can't have it. And we're gonna put them down here. Next to my greasy leaf collard greens that didn't do nothing. I'm so goddamn disappointed you don't know what to do. Got that in a bam. Got that in a bam. We're gonna be heavy hitting, baby. Heavy hitting, baby. Next up, Boule Dior. I really think it's just a, a funny looking canary melon, but it's so pretty I had to try it. You is a pretty one. You is a pretty, pretty one. All right. Got two there. Two men. Two men. I want two plants. So I'm planting three to get two. I might cut these out. Who I'm lying? Y'all know I ain't gonna cut these out. If they're gonna give me food, I'm gonna take the food, y'all. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm definitely lying. I ain't cutting nothing. I'm getting all this food. Look at that soil, y'all. Look at that soil, y'all. Let's go, y'all. Look, man, I'm so excited for spring. I know the got dog to do. All right, that's that. We're going to do some bid well cassava. I planted this last year and got Nathan. Not nothing. Nathan. You hear me? Nathan is less than nothing. That's exactly what I got. It don't even want to come out the pack. Hold on. All right, I got him out. I got him out. All right. These seeds look old. Oh, seeds. I hope you grow before you get your social security check. That's some old seeds, y'all. And these seeds, about, I call them old. They probably two years old plus the time before they got to my house so they probably a little bit older than that all right next up is the crowd pleaser baby the crowd pleaser the best tasting me melon in the world canary yellow canary yellow chirp 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 look at these seeds out here look at these seeds watch how these seeds look uh oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Don't worry about it. One day, I want a bunch of these. I ain't gonna lie. I'm planting two in each hole. And I'm planting them close together because they're gonna bind around each other anyway. It ain't gonna... You can't space melons out where they they're gonna be uniform. Put your melons in the grind and cross your finger, baby. Don't do too much fretting and hoping and all that weird stuff. Cross your fingers and see how it work out. Yeah, I'm putting way too many in there. My bad. My bad. Don't worry about y'all. And I'm planting them like this because I do got uh, canary melon seeds from last year. So I'm planting them two to three because it's raining and they're going to move around. That's that. All right. I'm, I'm going to put my uh, yuzu lemon. I got some cutting from Up. Um, Up's Gardening. I can't remember his whole name, but I watch his channel, great channel. He's good fruit tree. But he sent me some yuzu uh, lemon cuttings, and I'm gonna put them in. But the reason, I know y'all seen me do this a hundred times, but the reason I turn the camera on, feel your, your pots close to the top. And I'm gonna tell you why. You plant your cuttings in here or your rooted cuttings in here. It gives you more distance for the roots to grow down. And you don't have the up pot all the time. If I feel this like three quarters full, then that's all 
the room you have for the roots to grow in there. So just me, my opinion is fill the soil to the top and you don't have to up pot as much. And that just goes with fruit trees. If it's a, uh, a annual, it's only gonna live one year, it really don't matter. But when it comes to fruit trees, I feel like that's the best way to do it because I don't wanna up pot every year. I only wanna up pot, I don't know, every two to three years. Oh, these, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at these root systems on there. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to get them in. So uh, this soil mix is um, cheap uh, manure, bag manure you get at the uh, big box store, uh, regular pine soil, well, I call it regular, but it's Kellogg pine soil is my favorite. And I put some sand in there. And I'm gonna cover it up, get all the roots covered. And I'm, I'm gonna press it in. And there she go. She ready to live her best life, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, she ready. This one, same thing. And that's a nice root system on there. And these are super cold hardy. I wanna say down to zero degrees. Um, I'm growing some, some yuzu from seed and they do grow true to seed. But my buddy said, you ain't gotta wait five years. I got something for you right now. And he's sitting it on and it came in the mail. Got them both potted up. They ready to live their best life, y'all. I don't know what else to tell you. All right, YouTube, I'm Broke Farmer. And let's harvest some turnip greens, baby. I've been holding that too long. Nah. That's a nice side. The camera don't do it just. The camera is always a hater. The camera is a hater. Look at that. <laughs> the camera can't hate on that one. The camera cannot hate on that. One. That is huge. Huge. That's a little one. Up. We ain't gonna worry about that one. We're gonna have like. And it got a hole in it. Left it in there too long. Something went down, down through there. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I like you didn't see that. I like you didn't see that. Oh, that's another nice. She pretty. Look at him. Nice size. Decent side, decent side, we ain't hate. But that's just a quick turn of green harvest, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm planting a bunch of seeds, um, planting a tree. The reason I show these videos, I don't want people to think that, you know, something is, is off. I show you the seed planted in the ground or planted wherever, you see the harvest. You get to see the, the full spectrum of what I'm doing in my yard. The other thing about it, somebody's gonna think to themselves, Hey, it's super uh, cold, you can't do it now. Please understand this. Uh, my lows are 45 degrees this week. Next, next week, I won't have a low below 50. That's warm enough for seeds to germinate and seeds to start growing. And if it's not, the seeds know when it's time for them to grow. You know what I mean? If it's too cold, they won't germinate. If you ever heard of the term of uh, volunteers, those are seeds from last year. Everybody get volunteer tomatoes, but in the winter it's too cold for the tomato seeds to germinate. So when the temperatures are right and everything is right, they germinate. Same with the, with the way I'm dropping seeds right now. It might be a lower germination rate, but they will germinate and we will eat abundantly. If you have any questions, concern, Put it in the comments. If all minds and hearts are clear, I'm out.